Good morning, YouTube, and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is my new present I got for myself. This is the Ormsby Metal VGTR. This is made by a World Music Instru Instruments Corporation in Korea. And as you can tell, pretty low serial number, you know. These guitars, brand new, from that factory are like $1,800. Oh shit. This one, I picked up Use. Beautiful ebony. Streak down it. Picked this one used for 1300 bucks. And I mean, comes with their Ormsby pickups. Push pull pot, multi scale. Hip shot hardware. It's got the Ormsby stamp, but it's hip shot. This is an honest review. I've been playing the guitar. I got it about a week before Christmas, and I've been playing it off and on, not as much as I like to. A few things I noticed. I had a an Ormsby guitar, a GTR on my bench a few, like about a month ago, and I noticed the the nut on that one was filed too low. And the same thing with this one. I think that's just from the factory, even though I bought it used. But so when I fret the third fret and I come over here. It's already touching, it's too low. You can you can hear hear it buzzing. And they all are. I think the G and the B aren't that bad. Check their fret, yeah. The the E seems fine and the B seems fine, but the there was, so I'm gonna have to remove the nut. It's like the guy who went before me might have removed it before or something. I'm going to shim it up and refile it and just give it a setup. I'm going to set it up with some 11 to 52 gauge and drop C. But um, right now, I mean, for the price of it used, I mean, it was pretty expensive. It's still made in Korea. Um, you know, for, for the price, it being a multi-scale, you know, I think you can get a multi-scale Ibanez for cheaper than this. And to me, they're a little bit better quality. The only thing that you don't that you don't get without it, you have to get an eye in a shape. This is a really cool, you know, tribute to Randy Rhodes. This is a really cool V. I love V-shaped guitars. I love them. Absolutely love them. So this to me was like on my dream guitar. I really wanted one with a with a maple top, but for the price, you know, buying it used and to have the Randy Rhodes pinstripe, and you know. I'm a huge Alexi Leho fan, huge Randy Rhodes fan, so I, you know, I just thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully after a, a setup, it does have stainless steel frets, it's really cool. Um, hopefully after a setup, it really becomes one of my favorite guitars. But um, right now, I got guitars that I, that I built that I just, that I like better. I mean, and they were, because I built them, they were a fraction of the cost, but um you know, I really wanted to love it. And I, I, I think I do love it. I think after I give it a setup, I'm going to like it a lot better. But I think for the money, you know, you really got to want one of these to spend that much money is my initial reaction. But let's get it set up and um, then revisit it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the strings off. Let me set the camera up a little better. I'm going to take the strings off and um, restrain it with some 11s. 11 to 50, 50 dose. You guys can hang out with me. Set this thing up a little bit. Dose. All right, here we go.
Oh, and just to let everybody know, previously it was set up for standard tuning with like tens on it. If that if anybody wants to know, I mean, I had it in drop D just now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still that nuts way too buzzy. It was bothering me. Like it was, it sounded good through my through my amp and everything, but it just bothered me. Yep, there's the nut. Came off clean. Bone nut. Um, like it was originally glued on with some tight bond. That's why it came off so easy. I mean, these are cool. Cool as hell. But again, for the money, I think if you have to have a multi-scale guitar, I mean, like, like me, for me, I was just looking at these guys on Instagram. I'm just freaking obsessed with them. Like I, you know, and I haven't bought, actually bought a guitar in so long. I mean, really, I, all, all my guitars mostly, um, I either built from scratch or built from just parts I have laying around or they were uh, abandoned and I fixed them or stuff like that. But, um, so this one I bought. I bought a used, but I bought it with money, which is weird because I never do that. I never, I never buy guitars. So maybe I think my expectations were a lot higher. But, but that being said, I'm picky. And um, I think I'm allowed to be picky uh, doing what I do, but also being that, um, you know, spent 1300 bucks. That's a lot of money. You know, I feel like for 1300 bucks, this doesn't feel like a $1,300 guitar. It just doesn't. It feels like eight hundred dollars. I feel like for eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, this would be a killer. And, and I mean eight, eight or nine hundred new. That would be what I would put this at. I mean, the thing is, it's got the appointment. It's got stainless steel frets. It's got you know nice pickups. It's got hip shots. It does have stuff, but it, it it's like the thing weighs like three pounds. I mean, it feels cheap. I know it doesn't have a top, it is, it is that shape that's going to be really thin anyways, but it, like, I don't know what type of wood it's made out of, because I can't see it, but it ain't, it ain't mahogany, I'll tell you that, thing is light as hell. It sounds really good though, it doesn't sound like a cheap guitar when you plug it in, it, it, it sounded, to me it sounded like it needed a setup really bad, it felt like it needed, the action was low, and I just, it might... I don't know. I hope not with it. I kind of thought it might need a front leveling when I was up here. But like, it could have just been the action was like crazy low. And yeah, okay, so, so far. Yeah, these frets are actually fucking great. So I think what you pay for, why they're so expensive, has got to be, it is ebony. It is mother of pearl inlays. This is hip shot heart. You are paying for it. You are getting premium, premium stuff. To me though, I mean, I don't know, I might just expect too much, but for me, it just feels like for a guitar that's still made in a Korean factory, it's overpriced. Cool guitar though, and I, and I do love it. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I mean, especially after I set it up, it's going to be better. It's going to be loads better. I might change these pickups out in the future. I'm not sure about that. They they they're 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 good pickups. They sound really good, but you know, pickups are always the first thing to do. And then this gold hardware. I'm not too sure about gold hardware. Anyways, I don't like it. It looks cool, but it, it dude, I got sweaty hands. And I'm gonna turn this this gold hardware green really fast. So. But here, I'm gonna cut the video out now and get it all strung up. And well, I'm a, once I get to the point where I shouldn't have not, I'm gonna show you guys that part. But I'm gonna cut the video out now while I'm scrubbing it down. All right, so here's the nut. Here's the shim I'm gonna use. I'm gonna glue it. Get out of angle because it's a weird shape. 
I'm gonna glue it to that and then I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to cut it out and then sand it smooth and then I'm gonna glue it in place and I'm gonna refile these slots, refile the slots as needed. So, I was gonna watch that. Pretty common thing, I mean, do that or make a new nut and this is much less time consuming and a permanent repair. Starbond accelerator. That's done, that's ready to go. Exacto game, the exacto knife game on fleek like mine is you probably don't even need to be sanded at all. Just to get it flush so it fits back in my thing. I mean I cut it. So damn close with this thing. Yeah, there we go. It's literally ever so small of a shim just enough to lift it up so I can refile it Also, my preferred glue to glue nuts in is the Loctite gel control. It's just, it's just good shit. string it and then for strings and what I think I told you guys already but I'm gonna do the 11 to 52 medium top heavy bottom for drop C because how I do okay I'm gonna get this strung up cut the video out you guys you guys don't even want me to do that Strings are on. And as you can see, now, I gotta file it, because now they're two. I mean, they're not, they're pretty close, but they're, I got some filing to do. Go ahead and take care of that. And, uh, yeah, action's too low. Ooh, one thing before I forget, I want to show, I want to look at, I haven't opened the electronics cavity up yet. And I want to, because I'm curious, you know, because this is brand new, you know, it's $1,800 guitar. I want to open up the electronics cavity, see what kind of wires I use, what kind of pots. I want to know, because, you know, I want to, I want to know if, they, if it looks like Epiphone wiring, for lack of a better term, which would just be, I expect it to be, I mean, I don't expect like cloth wire and, you know, 
but I don't expect a blue wire for the neck pickup and a red wire for the bridge pickup and that is a double wire cheap crap that you know so also see the shielding you know there's there's a couple of points I want to see what they do for the wire okay the disappointment is real yeah so yeah they're using you know shiny shit yeah yeah okay right there even says it fucking that bullshit okay let's see if I can get you in close enough let me just So, let me get you see that? Hey, no, that's made in Korea. That, so, Korean made pa. I mean, the guitar, you know, factory, it comes from Korea, so, you know, it's better than China. I'll say that. But it does look to be. You know, just uh, seems to be that bullshit, as it were. Not what I expect from a guitar that's almost too grand. And I don't mean all of it negatively. When I say things like that, I just... I'm realistic. This is an honest review. This is me being honest. These are, these are my honest feelings. This is my guitar. This isn't a guitar anybody supplied for me. This is, I paid my money for this. And I intend on keeping it. I mean, like, the neck feels phenomenal. It's got a matte finished neck. Super fast playing neck. It's like a thin D shape. It's the only really thing I don't like about how it looks is the gold hardware. And I mean, it's not even how it looks. I think the gold looks fine, but it's just that it's gonna turn green. All gold hardware, especially in Florida. And you know, I have a, I'm a sweatier handed dude. I don't know if it's cause, you know, like all, you know, maybe I'm less sweaty if I'm at home, but if I'm playing, you know, outside, I mean, it's just gonna corrode. I mean, I can always already tell it's starting to a little bit on a bridge from where you rest your hand. I mean, just the name of the game is going to turn green. It ain't solid gold. Shit is gold, not even gold plated. It's like, it just tarnishes. And, and, and that's okay. It's going to tarnish. It is all right. Cool ass guitar though. Really, I mean, it really is. It's fun. Let's do some firing. You know, for the money, you might be better off with a Kegel or an Ibanez. But that being said, like for me, I didn't want a Kegel or an Ibanez. I wanted this V, this one, the Randy Rose look. Had to have it. So, and the multi scale was very important for me. I know. Kiesel and um, Ibanez both offer multi scale, and the Kiesel for the if you're gonna spend eighteen to two thousand, get the Kiesel. I mean, this thing's change of pickups. This pickups, personally, I'm not a huge fan, but get the Kiesel. Those things look beautiful. 
I have a carbon, old car from the 80s. I mean, it's fucking, can't even be decent. It's badass. Well, one of them. The one pickup just out. There we go. So, let me do all these real quick. It's gonna take some time. All right, the nut is filed. No more buzzing. I don't know how you probably can hear it that well. I just wanted to play it not plugged in so you guys can hear. Action's still pretty low. I mean, it's measuring, give it to you in 30 seconds. Let me just put it this way. The measurement, it's fucking low. It's one and a half, 30 seconds on the base side to like zero, like it is set up to you just touch it which is if you have a light touch cool i mean i'm gonna play death metal on this thing so we gotta raise it we just we just got to and you know naturally it's made creative gonna need metric let's go up maintain that radius with the saddles Yeah, and you know, I've been playing this thing, needing to set up, and just was not really, I mean, it sounded really good with a lot of distortion and loud. You couldn't really hear it jangling, but I could feel it jangling. And it was like, this thing doesn't, you know, it's kind of one of those things that it's like, you don't, you know, I've been wanting one of these for years, and it's like, you want the it's not the it you want, it's the fantasy of the it, you know? I don't think I really wanted one of these. I wanted to want one of these, you know? About two and a half, 30 seconds, two, 30 seconds, two, one and a half, just a touch above one, and then right on the money on one thirty seconds. So that's what kinda where you would put most like super strat, shredder guitar. It's where I usually set them and then let people kinda play their guitars, it's low, it's really low, it's, but it's still a, you know, one of those things where you don't need a super hard touch to um, play, you know, you're gonna really let the guitar do the work. I mean, it rings like a bell. I it, you can't. I can't say I'm disappointed. Like really, I mean, I have some minor, some minor beef. But honestly, it's a badass guitar. I mean, it really is. It's, it's fucking cool. Let's see if I can. <laughs>
B, Metal V, GTR, Pinstripe, Randy Rhodes, Alexi Leho, Style V, very easy to play, especially up here, you get this cutaway, it's really cool, it is a set neck, you'd imagine like that it's like a Jackson, it would be like a neck through, but it's not a neck through, there's a glue joint, it's glued in, I guess they just blend it and paint over it, but... It is not a neck through. You would you would see impressions like right there. That would be the body. And then these would be wings. But no, it is a set neck. And you know, look, it even says, look at the tuners. They even say Ormsby. Those are those are hip shot tuners. And look, you can see the corrosion. That's just gold. I that, that has nothing to do with the guitar. That's just gold hardware. Any gold hardware is gonna do that. That's why that's my my main beef with gold hardware i mean string through the body it's cool i'll probably change the electronics at some point i'll probably switch pickups those pickups are pretty good they sound a lot better through my um, boss gtr 100 or gt 100 i'm sorry boss gt 100 than they do through this pv and i'm running it through this is my amp on the bench you know nothing special it, it's it's in it, the shitty amp so you know but pretty cool guitar seven what did i say 7.6 something like that all right guys peace out like subscribe orlando luthier come see me in orlando if you need some guitar fix stuff done later